What's up guys and welcome back to another video here on Full Throttle. My name is Charlie and today this is actually part of a another video that I shot that was going to be too long so I'm going to make this part of a separate video. So today I'm going to be removing the clock spring on the 350Z. It's pretty much the same for all the years of 350Z but the difference is, is on this car the trim that goes underneath the steering column covers the um, it's it, the bolt to get to the bolts to take off that trim are being covered by the trim that's uh, under where your knees are so I took that trim off and I'll show you guys the process and if you need to see the other steps of how to remove the steering wheel to get to the clock spring I'll leave that link in the description as well I've got a Phillips head screwdriver here you've got a couple of screws up underneath here so it's probably easier to lift this up so you've got a Phillips head here We've got another one here. Okay, so then you're gonna remove this piece on the side down here and just pull it up like this with your with your hand. Pop this back portion up and then gently pull like this and kind of wiggle back and forth a little bit. Put a little bit of pressure and then pull that piece out like that. Okay, so the proper way to remove this dead pedal down here, because I'm going to remove that to get to the little, I mean I don't really have to but I might as well, um, to get to the little bolt at the top. There's not a bolt but it's like a little plastic nut that screws on to hold this side panel on. Because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this side panel off that covers the fuse box over here to get to the bolts that hold this piece up. So that way I can um, drop this piece just to get this bottom piece of plastic off for the clock spring. The way you remove that dead pedal down there is you actually take the screws out on that plate. After you take the screws out on that plate, you're going to have a place where you can use a flathead screwdriver and gently unscrew those pieces because if you just pull it off, it'll actually strip the threads out and when you put your foot on this dead pedal, it won't feel like it's solid, it'll feel like it moves all the time. Alright, so after you take all the screws out, this little, pl this little uh, plate should pop off. Okay, so after you pop this little piece off here, you've got these two um, flat heads here that you can kind of unscrew. Okay. All right. So you've got to take a flathead, unscrew this, just like that. And then you've got this one, you unscrew this one. That way you don't strip the threads out inside of here. All right, so after you take this piece off here, and you take that dead panel off from here, then you've got this bolt right here. It's not a bolt, it's like a nut. This piece right here, plastic little, little nut. Then, you can take this piece off. You're gonna have to slip this off here. And then what I usually do is I find right where the clip connects here with a screwdriver and I'll gently just pop it out like that. Then I'll find the next one, just right here. Pop that one out and there you go. So now that piece is off, we can start taking off these screws right here these two to drop this panel down here and that way we can get access to the screw that's right back here that this is covering so we can get access to the clock spring. Alright so now I'm going to start removing the screws under here. I need to remove this one or not but we'll see. There's another screw right up under here for this side panel for, for this and so then you just gently pull on this here and there's gonna be more stuff you're gonna have to disconnect. So, so you've got your, um, actually I'm gonna take the two screws out for this bracket for the um, OBD2 port. There's that. And then you've got your, um, your head release cable. I'm gonna disconnect all these wires for these switches first. Get a little bit more space. And then you've got a clip that goes straight through the panel on this side over here. And then that panel is uh, taken off and uh, right after you get done taking off this panel you can move on to 
getting these screws out here, but it looks like this, this plate is in the way right here. So I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter. So now that all of that is taken off, you can get to these bolts back here, the Phillips heads underneath the steering column trim. So then after you take out the four bolts under here, I'm gonna double check to make sure there's only four. Yeah, it looks like only four. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna gently pry this piece down. So I usually just barely pull on it like this. You'll see that it's starting to separate here. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of push down on it a little bit more. And then it has to separate from the back side back here, just like that. Just barely push on it down like this. There. So then you should be able to wiggle this out of place. And on some 350Zs, you have to worry about this little knob right here that, um, that controls the tilt of the steering wheel column. And on this one, it's off to the side, so it shouldn't be too difficult just to pop this down and off. These are where all the bolt locations are. So these are towards the back more. These two are towards the, I mean the front of the car more. And then these two are towards the uh, driver more. So to take off the speedometer, you've got this 10 millimeter right here, and then a little bit further back. Let's see if I can get the light on that one too. A little bit further back, you've got that one right there. So you've got these two on this side, and you've got two just like those right over here on the other side, right here. So these 10 millimeters, let me get it focused here, are the only four you need to take out to remove the speedometer. There we go. All right, and that's the only plug on the back of the speedometer. This is the wire right here. It's really easy. You don't need like a heavy duty screwdriver or anything. You just push this little clip down barely and uh, slides right off. So when you get to this point, all you have to do to disconnect these um, these column switches is just push these two little tabs down and they just pull right out. So these just plug right into your clock spring. Press these two little tabs just like the other side, but on this one there's actually a plug. Just press on this little clip here, pull it right out. To actually remove this clock spring, you've got a couple of bolts. You've got one right here these bolts are actually, they, they stay inside of the clock spring. I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't come out. All right, and then you've got a little tab right here on the back. You've got that little tab right there. And you basically just push down on this little tab and it slides right out. As you can take this off and you've got a plug right here, which is for your airbag system. That's what these wires go to. So here comes this little gray one. Maybe I have to take that one out first for this one to come out. There we go. And that's how you remove the clock spring. All right guys, so that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It makes me feel good when you guys like these videos because it makes me feel like I'm actually helping out people. But um, other than that, uh, consider subscribing. I've got a lot of 350Z stuff to come. I only have like 350Zs, so these are two of them. I've got another one on the side over here. As for my Akibanos, I actually can't figure out what color I want. So if you guys are like long-term subscribers and you guys have been watching this channel, or even if you're not, um, drop a color for the Akibanos, what you think I should get on my blue color. So that's the color of my car right there. I'm gonna have white wheels on it. They're gonna look just like these on the front, but they're the NKA Sport G37 package rims. Uh, with the Akibanos. I was thinking gold, but the thing is, is all these 350Zs come with gold calipers already. But yeah, so if you guys drop a color down there, I'll consider it. And honestly, <laughs> I'm colorblind, so uh, seeing like colors against other colors isn't my best, you know, isn't my best trait. So um, anyways, the Akibanos should be coming up soon. I really got to figure out what color I want them to be. I was going to stop there today. They got a new golden, which is like a real gold. Like it's like a... Um, 
It's like a, like if you got like a gold necklace or a gold brick and you just like polish the shit out of it is what it looks like. And I was thinking about that, but then I was thinking about getting some type of metallic color. I don't know exactly what I want, but um, yeah, drop a color down in the comment section. If you have any questions about anything in this video, drop it in the comment section. And uh, if you guys need any 350Z parts, G35 parts, G37s, or 300ZX parts, check my eBay stores. I'm going to leave those in the description. If you see something you like, hit me up on Instagram. Um, I've got a shitload of parts. Every single one of these boxes you see behind me is all full of 350Z parts or the other cars that I just said. So, um, yeah. But, alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.